Yo, what is up guys? It's me, the G Flash. I am back with another reaction video from Fire Emblem Heroes. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys my first impression on this new uh dancer banner, or you could say it's performing artist banner number two that they announced last night. So I'm gonna be sharing you guys my thoughts with it and what I think of it. So first of all, um we got Dancing Knight Xander. Wow, I did not expect Xander to be on here. But still, from the silhouette, if you remember from the silhouette, there was something on the, like the figure on the right. Like some people thought it was gonna be Xander. And yep, they guessed it right. So he's a dagger dancer. So first time we, um, well, we have a dagger dancer before, which is performing as Olivia. And this is the second one. So he's got a Dusk Uchiwa Plus, which is inheritable. It's effective against Calvary foes, and it has that hardy bearing built into it. Then after combat, if unit attack, inflicts that defense resistance minus seven, like the other dagger units though. So that's a pretty cool weapon though. And then he's got Dance, Close Counter. So if he has Close Counter, that definitely have to mean He's gonna have pretty good defensive stat. Otherwise, he won't run close counter on his default kit. And then he's got a quick repel, so that tells you he's gonna be pretty slow, I guess. Because usually people who run quick repose they are pretty slow. And except for Subaki, which has quick repose by default, but for whatever reason, he's insanely fast. And then he's got odd defense wave. This is actually a perfect, like, uh, C skill for uh, for Xander because he's gonna have pretty high defense, so he's able to grant himself some defense, plus six defense, and to other people as well. Like his kit is absolutely fantastic, and is perfect for a fox. So even if you don't like Xander and you get multiple copy, you can just fire him off for odd defense wave. You can fire him for close counter, but Takumi also has that. And Takumi is not a limited edition like Xander is. So, wow, I cannot believe that. <laughs> he has a default kit that is so good. And he's a dancer, so yeah. And then his weapon is pretty cool too. It's probably going to be re it's gonna be refinable. I don't know about the might though. But the good thing, the might is actually better. So, I think what I'm expecting from Xander as his stats is low resistance, pretty good defense, uh, pretty low speed, uh, mediocre attack, and um, kind of mediocre HP or lo lowish than that. Because um, if you can see here, he has 38 HP. So yeah, that's pretty. Well, I mean, he's a dancer, so dancers class are always uh, low, and then um, their stats aren't really as good because of their class. And his dancing is so cool. Yeah, I I heard some people say he learned that from his retainer, Lazlo. And that might be true, actually. And then we got Estevo Princess Alancia. Wow, I never thought I'd see the day Alancia gets an out, though. But I suppose it makes sense because Alancia is pretty popular in uh, Path of Radiance. And she's a green dagger dancer. So... Finally, we've got color daggers now, <laughs> and her art is absolutely amazing. Like this, this time her art actually looks a lot like her because um, the sword version of Alessia, her hair color was like bright green, but this time is like the perfect green color for her. And yeah, it's so cool. So uh, she's got a cloud Maioki plus, which is also inheritable. And this one is effective against dragon units and has got hardy bearing built into it. And then that same defense, res minus seven to buff, like what Xander had at the end. Um, hardy bearing, we have the seal now, and I don't know too much about how to use that because hardy bearing, I don't know if what situation that could put you to actually use that sacred seal. So yeah, I've never really looked into Hardy Bearing, but it's pretty cool on effect on the weapons though. 
and then she's got dance, attack speed, push, three. So this is a skill that Summer Tana had, and this is actually pretty good on Alencia, because um, from what I could tell, she could have pretty good attack and speed as well, so, um, and this goes, it's like, if at the start, like, if you're at full health, you grant attack and speed plus five, and then you get some, a little bit damage after the combat. And then, so that's pretty cool. And then she's got Rock Slide Dan. Plus three and plus four defense if seeing her Dan. You know, um, that's okay. But compared to Fire Storm Dan, like what Lean had, I still prefer Fire Storm a bit on her. Because she's someone that has like attack and speed that relies on this though. Probably defense is not really reliable. And then she's got Drive Res, which is pretty cool. So yeah, she's a. I'm expecting that she's gonna be pretty fast, I guess, and mediocre defense and resistance, I and mean, pretty lowish resistance stats, because you may do to her class. Yeah. So yeah, I. This is interesting. Wow. And she's actually dancing the hike. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then we got a dancing samurai, Ryoma. This has to be re because on the silhouette, there was like this big, long, spiky hair, and I know a lot of you thought it was gonna be Ryoma, and it is him. Oh boy, he looks so cool without that helmet that he's wearing and his big samurai outfit. So this is what Ryoma actually re looks like without all of his um, samurai gear. And he's a blue dagger dancer, so... <laughs> Wow, they've been doing color dagger units now. That's cool. So, um, and yeah, you cannot have this Hoshiden Festival dancing banner without Ryoma. Because Ryoma is a Hoshiden and he's extremely popular. So, yeah. So, he's got a Sky Myoki. And, and this is inheritable as well. And this one is effective against armored units. And it has got Hardy Berry and that same old default res minus seven. And that's so also amazing weapon. And then um, he's got Dance, Triangle of Death. Now, yeah, they used the wrong logo for Triangle of Death. Is it this is the Castle of Fandy logo? And it has got Cho Defense, which is awesome. And Spur Res too. I think this is the first time we have this kind of double spur. Now, um, the thing with Ryoma, because due to his class as a dancer, he's gonna have, like I said, mediocre defensive and low resistance stat. And even though his weapon is effective against armored units, he's gonna have trouble KOing most of them because most of the armored units has got built-in distant counter weapons or run distant counter. So, and due to Ryoma's kind of paper thinish um, defensive stat, He's probably not going to survive a lot of hits from he's coming from these armor units. Like, even if he's a, since he's a blue dagger unit, he cannot survive Effie because you're going to see Berkulance plus Distant Counter Vengeful Fighter Effies everywhere. Or something, or like those, um, Brave Lance plus both Fighter ones because that's the Effie I'm currently running. And something like that. And I know he cannot exactly like take out Zelgus if he charges off his Black Luna because dude, despite he has the weapon triangle advantage, he's still gonna get like blasted with that insane Black Luna hit. So yeah. So he cannot exactly, but due to a blue unit, he could survive Winter Tharga, I believe. As long as you don't charge her special up, you should be able to take her out. But yeah, with chill defense, he might have more possibilities of one round KOing Zelgius and Winter Tharga, since they're everywhere in um, Tier 20 Arena. So yeah, Ryoma is an excellent. I'm I'm going after him definitely. At part we can't see him dancing, and look at it, there's Firework. And then we've got Makaya. I totally did not expect Makaya to be on here though. But still, I'm pretty happy she's on here because Makaya is really popular in Radiant Dawn. 
And uh, she's got that same old Yoon bird right here. And anyway, wow, her art is amazing. And she's a red home infantry dancer. So she's a dog Suzu, and this is legendary weather. You cannot inherit this. And it's effective against armor and cavalry, just like her Thanny Tome. And then, um, Grass 3 attack. So this is like a 17 my weapon, which is pretty insane. And then it's got Hardy Berry built into it. And then she's got Dance Attack Razbon. I'm pretty sure the other unit who has this was like Holly Now. Noe? I, I must pronounce her name. <laughs> so, um, Attack Res Bond. So, this tells you she's gonna have pretty good resistance stats, just like her blue version. And then she's gonna have pretty high attack, I guess. She's got Fire Flood Dance. Oh my god. Wow. The second I mentioned she's gonna have good attack and res, she has a dance skill which gives attack and res to other people as well. Wow. She's absolutely like an attack and res kind of unit. And then she's got rest ploy. So that gotta mean she's gonna have pretty high resistance. Or maybe average resistance. She can't have average resistance. Otherwise, she can't run a ploy skill. She's gotta be either in the 30-ish resistance stat, I believe. So, um, yeah, her being a red unit with that exactly the same effect like her, um, Thanny to him on her dancing weapon is pretty cool. But the thing with this, um, but the, the uh, pro side for this um, dancer Makaya is when she go to like arena, she could like take on these plus ten um, male green maws and plus ten um, plus ten legendary Hectors. Since male green maw and legendary Hector and Sheena are these are the three most common types of green armor you're riding around in arena everywhere right now. So, um, yeah, R uh, Red Micaiah could definitely go take on them. Calvary units, they're pretty easy to take down because most Calvary units don't exactly run distant counter anymore. Because since armor units are on the rise and they're power creeping those uh, Calvary units, you see armor units running around a lot. And yeah, the thing with Blue Micaiah is, like, even with her, um, Fanny Tome, she, she definitely will have trouble KOing these, um, because Blue Micaiah and this Red Micaiah suffer from the same exact squishy defensive stats. Because, um, and also, due to their squishy defensive stat, they're gonna have trouble if they don't want shot those armor units. Like, example, Blue Micaiah can never want shot those legendary Hectors, because legendary Hector is just gonna blast her to another dimension. And I think Red Micaiah might have the exact same problem though, because due to Legendary Hector's monstrous attack. But um, if you could like debuff Legendary Hector's resistance set with her rest boy, she might be able to one shot him. So yeah, so that's why it's glad to have a Red Micaiah so she can take care of these green armored units, and she will not have a trouble taking all these male green ones. They're pretty easy to take out. Just you gotta make sure you use the right unit, otherwise you're still gonna get blasted. So yeah, Micaiah is so interesting. I really like this design of Micaiah. And yeah, we can't see her dance, so we're gonna have to wait till we get her and then we can find out. So yeah, I'm excited for this banner. I'm definitely gonna make a summoning video on this. So yeah, just look forward to it and... <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to get all of them. So, luckily, they're all stone colors. So, that means when I pull, I'm pulling full circles. For, for sure. So, the summoning rarity, I'm going to do... First, I'm going after Micaiah. Then, I'm going after Alencia. Then, Ryoma. Then, Xander. This is the order I'm going to do. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, yeah. That's, um, yeah, that's my reaction. I'm excited for this banner to come. So let me know in the comments what do you think of this new banner and who are you excited to get the most? And I look forward to the Sony video. Now I am not gonna um like summon right away like when they first came out because I've heard rumors that Choose Your Legends might be coming around really soon. So um when it first came out, um don't exactly like blow all your orbs on it because like I said, what if 
Choose Your Land comes smack in the middle of September or August. So then if you really like one of the Choose Your Legends unit, you don't have any orbs to spend. So yeah, look out for Choose Your Legends. And if they don't come sooner, then considering how many orbs you want to blue on this banner. So that's a little advice for me. But other than that, um, yeah, that's it. So um, I will see you guys in my summoning video. Thank you so much for watching and see y'all all later.